Breaking news this afternoon, police releasing more information about the arrest of the parents of a baby who was found dead in a car back in 2017. Jacob and Genesis Neros made their first court appearance this morning on involuntary manslaughter charges. They're both being held on half a million dollars bond. Carla Byron spoke with police this morning. Carla, what have we learned? Police say hopefully these arrests will help provide a little bit of closure for the community and for everyone involved. Investigators say they were at a zero with the investigation for quite a while before the prosecutor sent DNA through a private company called Advanced DNA, which does look at genealogy. Results were delivered and those results pointed them directly to Jacob and Jenna Cisneros as the parents of John Doe. I asked the investigator how he felt now that there's been a crack in the case and here's what he had to say. You know, you, you get mixed feelings. You feel bad for everybody involved a little bit. Uh, uh, other kids are involved that you're asking about that the community cares about. Uh, we're just going to do our jobs. We're going to plug away and hopefully uh, come to some sort of resolution at the end. Whatever that is, it's how it works out. Police also mentioned that the Cisneros frequent the area where the baby was found and the uh, couple who found the baby in the car are related to the Cisneros, although they are not directly involved in this case. The Cisneros have three other children who are in the care of family and what uh, police still need to know is the name of the baby and where it died. If you know any information, you're asked to call the P Toledo Police Department. Reporting live in downtown, Carla Byron, WTOL 11. Carla, thank you. And our 11 investigates team actually checked up on this case a few months ago, looking into why it was unsolved. A national nonprofit, He Knows Your Name, had been asking the Lucas County coroner to release baby doe to them so that he could have a proper burial instead of his body staying with the coroner's office. Monica Kelsey was abandoned as a baby and says this never should have happened. She says thanks to safe haven laws, there are designated places babies can be surrendered safely. But there's so many resources available, and if they wanted to remain anonymous, there's boxes right at the time. There was boxes right across the state line where they could remain anonymous. So it, it does, you know, put a, a little bit of a pit in my stomach. And we're working to find out what the next steps are in laying baby doe to rest.